Welcome back to another video from Inzara.com. This is Excel template number 44 from Inzara.com. It is the sales report template, which can help you identify the top 10 and bottom 10 products by sale. Just enter your sales data and instantly identify the best selling and the worst selling products by sales. And there is a lot more customization options as well. So now in this video, we will take a live look at how the template works. You can download this template for free from nzara.com. So now I have the template open and we have three visible sheets in this template. We are in the home sheet and there is a link to learn more about how to use this template here. So definitely use that as a resource to help understand how to use the template and extend the functionality. And the set of instructions here uh, as you can see, it's very, very simple. We just enter the list of products in the home sheet here. I have entered some products here. And then when you enter, make sure that you enter from row number 13 and so that it will be included in the table. And then the, we go to the sales data sheet to enter the sales data. So there are three columns here, date, product that is being sold. This is the date of sale and then the number of units of product or you can use the amount. Uh, it could be any measure uh, of sales of the product on that day. So the template allows daily level of granularity. Now that is all we do for data entry. Now we can go and get the report instantly built for us and this is how the report looks. So now let's take a look at each of the features in this, um, in this report sheet. On the left this is where you could enter or interact with the report. On the right is the output that is automatically calculated based on the input settings. So now let's take a closer look at the date parameter. So the first thing we can choose is what date range or what specific window of time that you want to analyze the data for, sales data for. So the options we have are day, week, month, or custom. So when you choose day, you can see today, or you can choose S today. So when I chose S today, you can see that the date here on the report now shows 31st October. So on 31st October, totally we had 1395, this is the sales. And then it is comparing it with the previous day. Previous day is 30th October. Today is actually November 1st when I'm recording this video. So you can see if I if I say same day last week, now we'll be comparing 31st with 24th a week ago. And so let me put it back to previous day. So this these are the options we have uh, in the day setting. Now we can also do week. And when we choose week, everything automatically updates last seven days or this week and then last week. So this week begins on a Sunday and ends on a Saturday. So if you're in the middle of the week, you can, you know, this week will show, you know, um, incomplete week's data as of today. And then when you choose last week, it will be the previous Sunday to previous Saturday, full complete week. Now you can choose these and you can also compare with the previous week or you can compare with four weeks ago. And so those, those are the settings you have. When you make these changes, the report updates automatically. With the month is similar, last 30 days or this month, for example, today is November 1st, so this month is just one day of November and you can compare it with the previous month, which is over here, which is 1st October to 31st October. And so this is how you can use these combinations to customize what you want to compare and what you want to display as the current period. When you choose custom, you can enter any current period dates and then comparison period. So you can just type in these four dates. So now we are comparing 1st Jan to 29th Feb in 2016 versus 1st Jan to 28th February in 2015. So you can choose how you want to customize. Um, you can definitely you know, edit these if in your case you have large sets of numbers, you can either you know, expand it this way for example, or try to change the font size so that it can fit within the shape that has been created. Now let's go back to the other options. So I'm gonna put it back to the month setting for now. And then uh, let's choose last month here. And then we are comparing with the previous month. So we are comparing October 2016 with September 2016. and the next important thing that we can customize is what metric are you using? So we can now, we are sorting by the sales amount. 
So the top 10 products based on sales amount. And, and these are the top 10 products. And similarly, we have the bottom 10 products with the least volume or the least amount of sales and uh, in the current period. Now, this is pretty straightforward. Now, we can also choose change in the sales amount. Now, it'll actually compare the current period versus the comparison period. So, for example, we can see that the the thresholds are set here, which will dictate how the green arrows and the red arrows appear. But the change in sales amount is nothing but, for example, the retail inventory tracker had 11,039 sales in October. And that was 2,083 more than what we had in September. So that is how you would read the change. And whether the green arrow or the red arrow appears here are dictated by the thresholds here. So for example, anything about 250, I want the green arrow to appear because that is a significant change. Otherwise, I don't want to show it. So you can see that 239 change for manufacturing inventory tracker doesn't have a green arrow, but the other ones have. And similarly, anything which is less than negative 150, which means the sales have declined by more than 150, declined by more than 150 will be shown with red arrow. And in this case, we only have only one product which has declined so much. And so that is what we see here. Now, this is great for the change in sales amount. We also have another option to show percentage change in sales amount. So the, the percentage change um, is important because it now it allows you to compare with respect to or relative to what the amount was in the previous period. So for example, in September, we had totally 35,323, um, you know, sales amount, and then we had, you know, 40,891 uh, in the October time frame. And now this percentage change allows you to compare October with respect to or relative to September. So for example, when we put the thresholds for change, we actually have to put it in decimals. So for example, if I want to only show 40% or above, I would actually put 0 0.40 and that would put 40% and anything above 40% will show up in green arrow. And then similarly negative, let's say I want to do minus 15%. So I will do minus 0.15 in decimals and that converts into 15%, and you can see the red arrows, downward arrows now. So this is how easy it is to customize this report and allows, you know, looking at the data in the way that you would like to do for your own business. And you can enter some comments and you can export or print, export to PDF or print the sheet if you wanna share this. And uh, that is all this template does. Enter your dates, set your date parameters, choose the metric that you want to use, and then you can customize the thresholds. And in this case, if I want to customize the thresholds to be you know, 200, I can put 200 here, and then similarly minus 100. Again, that's it. So very, very easy, simple, quick. Um, now, a few things that you can do to customize the template even further. So the first thing is the number of products that it supports by default. So we have 100 products that can be supported by default. If you have more than 100 products, it's not that hard. So now you'll do unhide the sheet, choose H underscore products. And now here, this is where the calculations are happening. And we go to the cell E102. This is the end of the table. And so I'm gonna click outside first. And then when I go over this, edge, then I can see this arrow, double arrow coming up. And then I'm going to click this and drag this. Let's say I want to do for a, you know, 14 or 15 more products. That's it. You're done. So this is how you can easily extend it to more products, as many as you have in your business. Now, as you have lots of data, remember that it needs to process a lot to do the sorting and top 10 and all this. So make sure that you give a few seconds because it will take some time to calculate if, if you have a lot of data. In this case, for example, I have entered sales data, you know, 20,000 rows of data. And if you have a lot more, then it may take a, you know, one or two seconds to update, but it shouldn't be too bad. Now that's one update. The other thing you can customize is by default, it shows, it uses today formula, 
here today function to actually calculate today's date and then uses for all the date parameters. If you don't want today, if you want to create a snapshot of the report as of, let's say, you know, January 1st, you can still do it easily by just replacing this with a specific date. And now you will see that the, the data will now change to last month who actually becomes December 2015 versus November 2015. So you can change the reference date very easily by typing in here. And if you wanna bring it back to today automatically, then just type in equals today and there you have it. So this is how easy it is to update the date reference. And then the other thing you can do is if you want to customize the icons that I'm using here, you can go to con conditional formatting, manage rules, and choose this worksheet. Go to the last icon set, edit the rule, and here is where you can customize. If you don't want the you know, green arrow up, you want to do you know, something like this, then hit apply, hit okay. There you have it, we have changed the icon. So this is very customizable. If you wanna make further changes, um, you would need to unprotect the sheet if you want to edit the formula or anything, then unprotect it using the password in Zara, and then you will be able to make further changes. And um, this is all the template does, very simple. Enter your products, enter your sales data, instantly get a report to show the top 10 products and the bottom 10 products. If you have any questions about this template or any of the features that we discussed, please leave a comment and I'll be very, very happy to um, get your feedback and respond to them. Thank you very much for watching this video.